Hey guys, do you want to stay in business and forever and to grow your business and be very successful and make your business worth a lot of money? And is that something that you really want to do? Well, today I'm going to give a video on something that can shut you down in a heartbeat. Um, I've been seeing it in some videos. I've seen it over Christmas lights. I've seen it in between Christmas lights. I've seen it some in, in pressure washing. And that is safety, guys. People up on this roof, and I know, I can't say I haven't done it, but this roof right here is very easy. It's very walkable. It's only one story. But with that being said, you're not allowed to be up on that roof without being tied off and harnessed this roof right here if you fall off even one story can kill you um, and, and here's the issue with that if it's it's one thing for you the owner to be up there doing it it's one thing for that it's another thing you put an employee up there and here's the deal with it you put employees up there and you're videotaping and, and you're doing whatever and you want these great pictures and these great videos of these employees up on these roofs with no harness, no tie-offs, nothing, no guardrail along the edge of it that's, um, I believe it's um, 36 or 48 inches high that you, you know, if you had a guardrail, then you, you don't have to have that up there. And here's the deal, guys. You know, if your insurance companies, you know, when you get an audit or your um, workers' comp, and they see that kind of stuff, and they see videos of it, they cannot renew with you. Because if, if you're a liability uh, to them, and you have an employee fall off and break his legs, kill him, um, whatever else could happen to him, they don't want that liability. And when you got video of you showing that you do this practice without harness, without safety equipment, and I get it, guys. I know... I'm not going to say I've never been up on a roof and not walked that roof. I, I'm not going to say it because I'd be lying. But I never showed pictures of a guy up there without a harness or something of his safety gear up on that roof. Um, and that is, you know, you know, even a goat up there, you know, technically is not, you know, but at least you got something right here. You know, you go pressure washing this roof and you accidentally trip over, you know, that that pipe up there or the vent and you fall off, it's it's not going to be pretty for you. They're going to sue you, the, the owner. They can sue. And if you're not a, if you're trying to get by with subcontractors, not do it the right way first off, then they can go after the homeowner. They can sue the homeowner. And it's not covered under homeowner's insurance either because the way the law was written, and I know this is in Ohio and Kentucky, is basically if, if you put somebody up there, that's not covered under the homeowner's insurance. So this is important that, you know, make sure we're doing our safety things. Honestly, if you don't have insurance on a guy, don't even put him up there. Don't even, I wouldn't even put him on the ladder. I knew a, a good friend of ours, um, grew up with him in church. He fell off the ladder. He fell off. Um, they were uh, two stories up, and when they were up there, they were trying to use, they didn't know what they were doing, and he was using some chemical to clean the gutters to get the black streaks off. It got slippery. He used the high-pressure hose, which, again, you're not supposed to do, and he fell off, broke both ankles, was down for six, eight weeks while letting his ankles heal. You're not working at that point. I mean, he was on crutches in the whole nine yards. So... Guys, do not risk your business to be up on that roof for for what? A thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. It's not worth putting somebody's life up there and um, getting them hurt. And honestly, when you got this stuff on video and OSHA can come look at you, guess what? They're gonna have your tail. And what are you gonna say? I didn't do that. Oh, really? Let's go. Let's go look at this video right here because they're already gonna have the video downloaded. And they're going to say, what about this video right here? You do not practice safe things. Um, and, 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 I mean, one of our company policies, you never took pictures up on a roof. 
Um, and you never definitely did not take a picture of somebody up on the roof. And I know it's hard, but I mean, it's, it's a matter of losing your whole business over something stupid of a video. And if you think a video is good, that's not good. You know, like I said, have you seen pictures up there um, with nobody in it? Absolutely. I have done those videos. I was tied off. Or was I? You don't know. But when I actually see you up there and you're not tied off, and I know you're not tied off, and when you're hanging on for dear life for Christmas lights, I seen one that was hanging on that was way too steep for him, and all a matter of just sliding down the roof and killing him. I mean, what what a thousand dollar light job? Whoop you freaking do when you lose somebody. Um, so just be safe, guys. Think about it. Don't do stuff stupid. You know, it's one thing the owner up there doing it because if he falls off, workman's comp ain't gonna pay it anyway because you're dumb enough to get up there and do it. And if you're dumb enough to get up there and do it, that's your own dumb fault. And I just want to be safe, guys. Just you know, just take that extra few seconds. You know, I always have a you know, my one that was, you know, have a fall plan. You know, if I start falling there, you know, catch on. But that ain't, that's really not a good solution either. Either tie off, either go over to the other side and run a rope from a tree and run it over, or we can go up and set anchors in the roof and we can tie off that way and we'll be safe that way. Um, and, and that's just, I mean, it doesn't take that long, guys. You know, it, you can use it as an upsell. Hey, um, Johnny over my competition, he don't do that. And he gets on roofs unsafely and yes, he's cheaper, but you know, if he falls off your roof, he could actually see you, ma'am, where I am making sure that our roof then we're safe. And like I say, I'm not saying that I've never done it. Never have I ever said that I've walked many of roofs, but I never had a picture of me walking them. And I never had a video of me walking them. Can I get great video up there? 100%. But without safety equipment, that kind of stuff, nope, no way. Am I going to allow my insurance company to know that I'm getting up on these roofs without harness, without the proper um, tie-off, the whole nine yards? If you want to learn more safety stuff and, and all that kind of stuff, join my community. I have a whole section that I'm going to be building of nothing but safety, how to how to rig, how to do all that kind of stuff um, in, in my um, pressure washing community. Go check it out at pressurewashhelp.com. Um, if you would like to learn um, more about like roof cleaning mixture and that kind of stuff, go check out my video up here. And if you would like to learn how to get leads and you need the leads and get leads, go check out these two videos here. I'm going to put them down here. One's about Google AdWords and one's about Google My Business. And this is how you get work. See you in the next video.